Walking through the market here in Gyumri, Armenia. This is one of the best markets I've ever gone to. And I know I say that a lot, but this one, all locals. I don't think I've ever seen a, another tourist here. Love to bring my groups here. Every kind of thing you can imagine. Great displays. You can tell the, the vendors really take pride in their stalls. There's everything from fish to meats, fruits, produce, coffee. Really, really wonderful market. Can't recommend it enough in Gyumri, Armenia. We're at this wonderful market that we always come to and this gentleman behind us just sold us about, I don't know, 15 or 18 fresh figs that uh, RP, our local guy, just went and washed and I'm going to have a bite of it right now. This is one of my favorite things. As you know, I love to pick them out right off the trees, but this is about the only less expensive way you can do it. Oh. Just beautiful, really tasty, very sweet. About 80 cents for about 15 or 18 fresh, beautiful, ripe figs. Love it. Have to be careful because these guys are working and they're definitely moving around, not looking out for us. Different fruits and vegetables that I've never seen or eaten before, so people are very open to letting us try them. Deuce. Ah, thank you, sir, thank you. Merci, merci. Wow. Be beautiful apricot. Gorgeous, look at this display here. This is actually like a grape wrap. Then we tasted it in Yerevan, but they're made of different fruits, the juices of different fruits. Beautiful. And then these are grape juice, uh, sur uh, walnuts surrounded by grape juice that are very easy to eat and very tasty. Look at these trotters here. Got some tripe. Anything you can imagine, wow. Pig's feet, cow's feet. Gorgeous stuff. Look at this like string type cheese. Beautiful. And then there's more solid type cheeses. Freshly made. Wow. And then you never know what you might find. This man right out of the trunk of his car is working on the head of a cow. Yep, looks like a trying to trim the tail. Trim the tail on the donkey, I mean cow. And this is why it's great to work with a local guide because RP is now taking us through these back alleys and you never know what you might see, like some man carving up the head and tail of a cow out of his trunk or I know we're going to this other building that's kind of off the beaten track and is really nice and so you know only a local would know of it unless you stumbled upon it yourself so having a local guide is key So this sign here just means fruit and vegetables in both Armenian and Russian. So that long word on the first line on the right means vegetables, fruit and vegetables. 
Bonjour. I just love when I come somewhere and they have a different language, especially in different alphabet, like this one here in Armenia is absolutely fantastic. It really gives you a sense of place of where you are. You're somewhere very different. This lady's trying to keep the dust down by spraying some water. Selling onions out of the back of the truck. One thing you'll definitely find here is a lot of uh, counterfeits and knockoffs, all kinds of stuff. What'd you find there, Nick? I'm not sure, but I think this might be Kiwi shoe polish. Yeah? Do you, yep. think, it, you think it's real? Or? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. All right. So it's still awesome. <laughs> You're the real Kiwi. I'm the real Kiwi. Just love looking for all the different languages, especially when there's a different alphabet. So this green sign, the green vertical sign, of course, means cafe in Russian and the other in Armenian, I have no idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have an interest in this kind of activity or so many of the others that we do on my trips, be sure to visit the alacampagna.com website for more details on this and my other tours. While you're at it, please share this videos with others who might be interested and give it a big thumbs up. Next, head on over to the ContinentalDrifter.co website for more travel and photography tips and to get my latest free download. And while you're at it, follow me on all the social media outlets. Finally, be sure to look for my latest books over on Amazon, links in the description below. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.